This movie stars Batman, Lois Lane, Mystique, Hawkeye, and Rocket Raccoon. It's a lot of superheroes. <laughs> What's happening guys, David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of American Hustle. And no, not the Cat Williams movie. There's actually a Cat Williams movie called American Hustle. <laughs> what? And of course, American Hustle stars Christian Bale, Amy Adams, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence, and Jeremy Renner. Yeah! And it's directed by David O. Russell. And essentially what American Hustle is about is about con men who get forced by the FBI to con other con men. And that FBI guy is trying to con them. It's, it, it, there's a lot of conning going on. Of course, Christian Bale and Amy Adams are the con men, you know, the, the pair of con men who, they run a business where when people are in a tough spot, they promise them money by taking a little bit of their money and it's, it's all a big thing. And Bradley Cooper plays this FBI agent who knows about this, basically forces them to, you know, like I said, force them to con other con men, you know, people, mainly politicians. They're, he's trying to make a, a successful bus as well as, try, hey, it's, it's a convoluted thing. Jeremy Renner, Renner plays a mayor, a, a, actually a good-hearted mayor who wants New Jersey to, you know, flourish. You know, he's trying to rebuild Atlantic City, just stuff like that. Jennifer Lawrence plays Christian Bale's wife, and she's a bit eccentric and just kind of crazy, and that's pretty much the gist of it. What did I think of American Hustle? Holy shit, was it a pretty damn fantastic movie. Obviously, you guys are hearing all the buzz about this. I mean, it, and it's true. There's a reason why there's so much buzz about this, why it's getting nominated for all these awards. It got nine Golden Globe nominations because the acting performances are just top notch. This is why this is why this movie was released right now, because they they knew they had something special. You got all these talented actors just coming together and making, I mean, it's funny too because supposedly this is based on a true story, but it's not necessarily because obviously Hollywood always Hollywoodizes it and, you know, changes certain things to make things more exciting and they even say that. It's awesome. There's a little sentence that shows up in the beginning of the movie that pokes fun at that, which I laughed at and I was like, all right, this is going to be a great movie. Christian Bale. Christian fucking Bale. That guy is a madman. That guy is, he takes his work, I, I don't think I've seen an actor that takes his work so seriously where he, he just transforms his body so much. Because we saw him at, at the machine, remember the machinist? He, he went down to 121 pounds and looked disgusting. And then he had to gain 100 pounds for Batman in three months just to do that. And then he lost weight again for the fighter, which he was fantastic in that. He won an Academy Award for that. And now he gained weight. He's got this huge gut. He's got a comb over and he just, it's, you, he's almost unrecognizable. It's crazy. Amy Adams. Wow. <laughs> ah, ah. Amy Adams is truly very sexy in this movie. Like I've never, I've, I've always thought she had a cute quality. Amy Adams had a cute quality, but holy shit. I was like going, you will be in my thoughts tonight. And she does a phenomenal job. She does a fantastic job as well. Like, I, I don't think I've seen her in a better role, honestly. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. I mean, he's worked with David O. Russell, Silver Linings Playbook, which he got nominated for, which was a fantastic movie, too, and he did a fantastic job there, too. And he almost... Oh, man, Bradley Cooper, he's come such a long way. I mean, and I remember him just being the dickhead in fucking Wedding Crashers. I mean, now look at him. Now he's an Oscar-nominated actor, and you know what? I, I'm rooting for him to win a Best Supporting Actor nom, but I don't think that'll go to him. So I'm still thinking Jared Leto. His character is so, is so off the wall. I mean, he's, he's supposed to be an FBI agent, but he's so unstable. He, he can be totally level-headed at one point, and then he'll just go. And when he gets awkward, or he just doesn't know what to do, he just, <laughs> and I, yeah, oh, oh, nah, ah. He'll get extremely angry about stuff, too. And it's, it's, it's hilarious, too. And that's another thing about this movie. This movie is funny. That's why with the Golden Globes, it's considered, you know, it's got considered for best comedy picture, you know, it's in that category. Jeremy Renner does a good job too. I mean, this is probably the best role I've seen Jeremy Renner in. I mean, he plays this good-hearted mayor who's, he's, he, his heart's in the right place, but he's not exactly achieving what he needs to achieve the right way. Jennifer Lawrence. 
Need I say more? That girl is just, wow, where did, mm, huh. And her character is just, uh, like I said, eccentric, just kind of an idiot, pretty dumb. And you know, it's just all about the glitz and the glamour and everything like that. And she just does a fantastic job when she just goes off on, I mean, she has a lot of scenes where she's just, just totally just batshit crazy, but she sells it so well. I mean, this is what I'm talking about with this movie. It's all the, all the characters play their own, just play it all through and through without a hitch. The movie itself is great. I mean, sometimes I found it, you know, it was like, okay, where is this going? Wait, it's kind of convoluted. I don't know. And then all of a sudden it just wraps up just right. And you're like, ah, okay. Great fucking movie. Yes, great fucking movie, guys. I mean, this is, this is, I, um, I'm almost predicting that this might be best picture of the year. I don't know. I'm going to do, obviously, when the Oscar noms are all talked about, I'm going to do a complete list of my picks for Oscars. And right now, I'm thinking this one might be it just because it just was so well. It was so, it, it's just so well done. The performances, the script, I mean, it was funny. It, it never, it, uh, it, you're just constantly going, okay, wait, wait, who's trying to, who's screwing over who here? And then, you know, then it just wraps up and then people change. And it's just, it's just a really fucking good movie, guys. So I highly suggest checking it out. Please do so. And if you did check it out, leave me a comment down below in the balls area. Let me know what you thought about it. And also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also vis visit filmjunkie.com for your latest movie news as well as written reviews as well as all these videos as well. Well, alright guys, I am David the Film Junkie and I brought you a film review of American Hustle. Do the hustle. <laughs>